we've asked a few developers just to spend a week and take a look at the new iPad and show us what they can do with it with all that amazing graphics horsepower. So we're going to bring up three demos to show you some really amazing stuff. The first is from Namco. Namco is a great developer of a lot of titles on the iPhone and iPad, titles of everything from Pac-Man to Sky Gamblers. Today we're thrilled to show you a first glimpse of our new flight sim game, Sky Gamblers Air Supremacy, running on the new iPad. Great gaming experiences are about immersion, being able to really lose yourself in the game. And the new iPad helps us achieve this in two key ways. First, the extra graphics performance lets us increase the level of detail of everything in the game. And second, the astonishing resolution of the new display means absolutely none of this detail goes to waste. Just look at the heat haze coming off of the engines here. Look at the, the scale of this city. Look at the detail in its buildings. And uh, check this out. Sky Gambler's Air Supremacy delivers console quality, single and multiplayer experiences. An experience that not even this giant screen here could actually show you. The only place to truly experience the intensity of action, that richness of detail, is on the new iPad itself. Sky Gambler's Air Supremacy launches exclusively on iOS later this month. Thank you. Today, I'm excited to show you something new. With the help of Lawrence Yang, I want to introduce Sketchbook Inc. Sketchbook Inc. is a new drawing app that focuses on line art. So it's totally complementary with Sketchbook Pro. In fact, Lawrence actually started this piece in Sketchbook Pro and is using the painting he created as a background. You'll notice right away that we take a lot of design cues from Sketchbook Pro. We have two customizable panels on the sides, one for ink styles, the other for color swatches. It's resolution independent, so you can see, no matter how far you zoom, all the strokes stay crisp and smooth. Professional and everyday artists are going to love this device, and it's going to inspire them to create beautiful pieces of artwork, just like what Lawrence has been creating for you live today. Which, by the way, dude, that's pretty amazing. For 90 seconds. <laughs> Autodesk Sketchbook Inc. will be available this April exclusively on iOS. Thank you very much. So just like Apple has raised the bar today for mobile computing, Epic's iOS exclusive franchise, Infinity Blade, has been raising the bar for mobile gaming. And uh, we're really excited to do that with the new iPad. So today I'm going to introduce Epic's Rod Ferguson and the latest chapter in the Infinity Blade saga, Dungeons. So in Dungeons, you are the apprentice to the master of the forge. And you're on a quest to craft the ultimate weapon, the Infinity Blade. So you guys are in for a visual feast of unprecedented detail today. I mean, seriously, these leaves here are blocking the light from the sun, right? So let's dive into this abandoned mine. And as soon as we go in, you're going to notice that your eyes, pupils are adjusting to the darkness. Cool grays are going to give way to warm orange tones from the lava. That's a technique called tone mapping that our cinematographers use to dynamically adjust brightness and color palettes for better immersion. And of course, just like all our products, this is running real time. Rod, if you want to zoom in and show them the incredible detail we're getting here. Yeah, well, that's enough sightseeing, Mike. Uh, if we're going to craft the Infinity Blade, I need the fire silk from the Spider Queen. Oh, abandoned, huh? A few quick swipes, but now with the touch interface, I just pulled and I can connect my enemies for a chain attack. So Infinity Blade Dungeons will bring a robust crafting system, dynamic dungeon crawling all to the world of Infinity Blade, and it's only going to look like this and play like this on the new iPad. Infinity Blade 2 is available right now on the App Store, and Dungeons will be coming soon. Thanks, everybody, for playing. Thanks a lot.